Hey guys, I'm back on this channel again. I know I've been MIA for eight months, but I've been posting videos in my new channel, which I'll link in the below bar. They're all like beauty, makeup related videos. So they're kind of the same things, but I have on my new channel. But I just recently um, got accepted into the Google AdSense thing. I thought it was the same thing as partner, but I guess that's two separate things. But nonetheless, I'm going to be starting to post videos in this channel again. I'm very excited. Um, hopefully, um, thank you for all who stuck around. And I know a lot of people have subscribed to me ever since I left the channel. So thank you so much. I am back right now. And um, I'll be posting videos here. Um, today I'm going to be doing another video for my back to school series. I've done a couple videos, probably four or five of them in my new channel, which I'll link every one of them individually in the below bar. They start from anywhere from textbooks to studying tips to makeup um, to different things you need for back to school. So everything will be linked below. And so let's just get started on this video. This video is going to be uh, all about backpacks and choosing which kind of backpacks fit for you for your school. And I know a lot of people are stuck when they come to backpacks because all they know is a traditional like two strap backpacks and they don't like those and they think they're boring so I'll help you out with different styles and different things hopefully will help you decide which one you want to tow it around the school year so the first one is again your traditional backpack that's what it looks like it's like this and this is from the high sierra brand um I know the Jansport makes one and they look like this and they come with two straps this one's kind of worn out because I've had it since like grade 10 so it's been like many moons ago that I had this backpack I like it because it's pink and I like pink um, brands like High Sierra, again, like I said, or Jansport, they make these backpacks in different colors so you can pick colors that you like. Or if you don't like because these look really boring, I know brands like Ed Hardy now or Coach or Chanel and different higher end brands, I know they make backpacks like this or even um, GC Couture, but they're fancier and they're nicer looking prints so you can go for those. And those I know cost, tend to cost a bit more, um, but um, they are really good, nice looking. And the good thing about these kind of backpacks is because there's two straps, so they distribute your weight evenly. So if you have a lot of textbooks or a lot of binders and things you need to carry around, um, this one is a really good option. Last semester, I used the backpack because I had five courses and I had to bring a huge binder to school. So I put my um, school stuff and my lunch in this backpack. And I also carried a separate bag, which is kind of like my purse, to put my wallet and my bus pass and different personal items in there. So I can tote around during like five minute breaks or different things like that. So it's easier for me to grab things when I need um, instead of going through this big backpack. Next is messenger bags or crossbody bags, however you like to call them. And these are the ones that people tend to use if they don't like to use the traditional um, two strap backpacks and that's what they look like this one is a very generic um, black one which I don't use anymore I don't like um, these kind of um, bags and they come with a strap you can wear them cross body or you can have it on one shoulder I'm um, having it on one shoulder can be really heavy because these tend to fit a lot of things and so you're not distributing your weight you're putting all your weight on one shoulder and these straps tend to be really long so um, that doesn't help you for distributing weight. And people say if you wear them cross body, they will distribute your weight. I find that doesn't work. It only works when you don't have a lot of items in the bag. And I know when a bag this day, you're going to want to fill them with all your textbooks, all your um, binders, and things like that. But if you do like this kind of style, you can go for it. Um, this is just a plain black. I know a lot of brands, um, even if you go to Walmart, Zellers, Target, those kind of stores, they have ones with nice prints. I just went to Zellers the other day. Um, they had one of these, um, and they came with like um, Zebra and they have like hearts and different things like that so you can definitely get ones that are more cute um, as opposed to the black and simple one like this next bag is a smaller crossbody uh, bag and this is what it looks like I got it from our jeans a couple years back I really like this because there's jewels on it and there's really nice print. It's just gorgeous girls rule. It's just really fun and you know, it just not like your boring backpack. This one is great because it's smaller so if you put it across body, it will still distribute your weight because you probably won't be fitting a lot of things in this bag. Or if you want to just do it one shoulder, it works as well. Um, the only reason why I decided not to use it for this semester, I was contemplating about it, is because um, I need to bring a binder and this binder, if I put in here, it won't fit like this thing won't really close up nicely. So if you don't have a lot of classes and you just going to bring like a spiral notebook or a two pocket folder things like that this backpack will be great for you next is the grocery store type tote bags and they're very popular recently and they come in different designs you can get boring ones like ones you use for groceries or you can get funky ones like this that i got at staples last year it's kind of like a punky pattern punk um it has guitar it has you know little skulls and hearts and flowers it's really girly and really punk at the same time and it's really um looks really cute and um, 
and you can wear them like this on the side and they're great for um, putting textbooks and things like that. The only thing I don't like about this is that uh, it doesn't have a zip top and doesn't have a closure top so I wouldn't suggest you putting personal items with this bag. So if you do use decide to use this kind of a tote, I would suggest you um, bring a smaller purse type thing so you can put your personal items in there. Last but not least is the backpack that I'm going to be using for this semester and it is kind of like a tote bag, kind of like a purse. Um, what well, large purse kind of thing and it looks like this I got it a while back I think in 2007 um, this is what it looks like and it's pink and it has hearts and it has like a um, strawberry here it has a, a pouch here zippered pouch here another zippered in the back and then it has a main compartment I know this bag is kind of um, old and crusty because I've been having it using it for a while and I decided to use it again this one is perfect because um, even though you wear it on one side of your shoulder, the straps are not as long as a crossbody bag or a messenger bag, so it doesn't weigh down your shoulder. And um, I have a friend that gave me a bag that was larger than this. This is a perfect size. If it's any larger than this, like that bag that I was that my friend gave me, um, you can't put a lot of heavy items. Even though they fit those items, those items will tend to fall over because these bags are not really sturdy. So I would suggest you getting one that's this size. It does fit um, my spiral notebook. It fits a binder that I have right here. This is the binder that I'm using this semester. It's what it looks like. It fits in here and it's the perfect size and it doesn't weigh down my shoulder. Hopefully these backpack um, different options um, help you um, as opposed to just having your traditional um, two strap backpack but if that's what you want to go for you definitely can go for that. So I hope this video helps you and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.